Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 173 for the manual of percutaneous coronary interventions. This is a case illustrating use of the STAR technique for salvaging a side branch during bifurcation PCI. The patient was an elderly gentleman who came with unstable angina. He had prior PCIs, normal ejection fraction, and this is his coronary angiogram showing patent stents into the circumflex as well as the LAD and first diagonal branch. However, there is a severe lesion in the mid LAD right after the takeoff of the first diagonal branch. Same thing on the area caudal view. There's also a second bifurcation of the second diagonal branch with the LAD. And on the area cranial, it becomes obvious. We have the mid LAD lesion that is a bifurcation involving a diagonal branch. We use the guide extension. We first advanced easily a workhorse wire into the first diagonal, and then we were able to advance uh, another guide wire into the LAD. And then uh, we uh, were able to advance another workhorse guide wire into the diagonal branch. Again, the first step in every bifurcation, and for bifurcation we mean the LAD diagonal too. If the branch is significant, which this is clearly significant given its size, and if there's a possibility of losing it, which is possible given the ACS presentation and the large plug burden, having a guide wire there is important to prevent the closure and act as a marker of where the side branch is. After doing this, we predilated, performed intravascular ultrasound to size the vessel, and then we placed a long 3.0 mm regoluting stand, proximal to the first diagonal and distal to the takeoff of the second diagonal branch. The stand was post-dilated with a non-compliant balloon, and we had two problems here. One is the distal edge of the stand that doesn't look good, and the second one is the poor flow into the second diagonal branch. Our next step was to rewire the diagonal branch and uh, do a kissing balloon inflation to see if that would improve the flow. However, it proved very difficult to advance a guide wire. We used a Sasuke dual lumen microcatheter, but even with that, we were actually unable to advance several wires, including workhorse wires and the Sion Black. After multiple attempts, we decided to predilate over the gel wire to get some more flow into the diagonal branch and then try again to rewire with the dual lumen microcaster, but even a Sapphire 1.0 would not uh, cross. So we used the guide extension and this time a 1.5 millimeter Takeru balloon successfully crossed into the diagonal branch and predilated. So now we have better flow there. We still have the issue in the LED stand. We once again use the Sasuke to advance a guide wire in the side branch, and this time it was quite easy to advance a Sion Black wire into the diagonal branch. However, there is some distance between the second wire that we inserted and the first wire that was already in the diagonal branch, and that the significance of that will become apparent subsequently. So again, separation here, there's some space. We stented the distal edge of the original stent and then did kissing balloon inflation. However, to our surprise, we had zero flow in Timmy zero flow in the diagonal branch. So what should we do next? We thought that the issue was probably some dissection of the diagonal origin, and that's why we decided to convert to two stent stenting using the culot technique. So we did proximal optimization. We then uh, stand it across the LAD into the diagonal branch and then use the Sasuke once again to advance a workhorse wire into the LAD. We had difficulty getting the balloon in the LAD, but we did the side branch anchor. So this is a side branch uh, balloon inflated the diagonal, which helps the LAD balloon come through, and that helped do the kissing balloon inflation. To our surprise, we still have the same issue. The flow in the diagonal branch remains very poor. So what is going on? Why, despite taking care of all this segment, the proximal segment of the diagonal, we still have poor flow? And IVUS gave the answer. This is HD IVUS, the Avigo system. And we're seeing this is a stand. But if we go more proximal in the vessel, this is actually the true lumen, and this is all the extra plug space. 
So it turns out that we placed our stand into the extra plaque or subintimal space. And this is in the still frames. This is the true lumen. This is a subintimal or extra plaque space, and this is where our iris is located. So what to do? At this point, there's not much we can do except for get some more undergrade flow. And to do that, we need to fenestrate those branches. And this is done using the STAR technique. What START simply means is that we take the polymer jacketed wire, which is a Xeon black in this case, and then with a loop at its end, we advance it distally. We see there's undergrade movement, and then there's sudden decrease in the size of the loop. So the loop is fairly large here. But as we push it down, the loop becomes much smaller. And this is a sign that we have entered into the distal trulum. And this is the angiogram confirming this. We do have a good flow now into the second diagonal. And we see the area of dissection, which was caused by the STAR technique. Several lessons from this case. The first one is that for most bifurcations, provisional standing is the preferred strategy. Um, if we don't think that there is a high risk of occluding the side branch, but sometimes we get surprised, as in this particular case. Having a wire into the jailed branches is uh, very important because, as in our case, gives a marker about where the wire is, allows rescue in case the side branch becomes compromised after we stand the main vessel. In this case, um, we had uh, what we thought was persistent dissection in the proximal diagonal. So we converted the provisional to a two-stand strategy with the culotte technique. The reason for the culotte is the very similar size between the diagonal and the LED. Nevertheless, we were not able to get good flow, and the reason is that during rewiring, we actually went into the extra plaque or subintimal space. How to salvage this? We used the STAR technique. We took a knuckled polymer jacketed guide wire that was pushed until it re-entered spontaneously in the distal vessel, and that restored the undergrade flow into the diagonal branch. Thank you.